Uh, this is game one of the Malaysia Open 2018 final between Eli Chong Wei and Kento Momoda. The rally data shown here is extracted using our custom tool. 38 rallies are captured in the first eight minutes. Following that, we'll present several types of performance metrics that can be generated through the system. See you again at the ninth minute of the video.
All right, I'm back. As you can see, first is the pause button. You can press pause and scrub through the timeline whenever you like. Next is the unlock camera button. Clicking this allows you to adjust the viewing angle in the 3D simulation. In the 3D view, the two players are represented in different colors. Here, blue represents Momoda, and orange represents Li Chong Wei. The red trajectory line shows the shuttle's flight path, uh, and the small sphere represents the shuttle's position at each moment. As you can see in the 3D simulation, the player's movement may appear slower compared to the actual video. That's because we track the player's position based on the mid-hip point, not the feet. In this case, we're measuring from here to here, not from here to here. Uh, this bar chart shows the player's movement speeds. Once again, blue for Momota and orange for Li Chong Wei. The values represent the average speed between each shuttle contact. That is, from the moment one player hits the shuttle to the moment the opponent makes their return. Here, it's important to distinguish between recovery speed and reaction speed. Recovery speed refers to how fast a player moves after hitting the shuttle as they return to their ready position in preparation for the opponent's shot. Reaction speed, on the other hand, is the movement speed from that ready position, which aligns with the moment the opponent strikes, to the point where the player reaches the incoming shuttle. Uh, the heat map on the left shows the player's reaction movements within a rally, while the heat map on the right summarizes recovery movements. Um, generally, the reaction heat map represents the areas where the player was forced to move in response to the opponent's shot. In contrast, the recovery heat map reflects the intended movement, the positions the player aims to return to after their own shot in preparation for the next exchange. Uh, the pie chart shows the total distance each player covered during the rally, along with their corresponding percentage of the combined movement distance. The player speed and distance over time chart illustrates exactly what its name suggests. The vertical dashed line moving from left to right indicates the current time within the rally. The two horizontal lines represent the real-time movement speeds of the two players, while the other two lines show the cumulative distance each player has covered during the rally. In the example you're seeing, Rally 34 at the 3.6 second mark, Momota is moving at 1.1 meters per second, Li Chong Wei at 2.6 meters per second. Up to this point in the rally, Momota has covered 4.4 meters and Li Chong Wei has covered 5.5 meters. The average shuttlecock speed and distance over time chart displays the shuttle's average speed and flight distance between each point of contact. The horizontal line represents shuttle speed. Blue indicates shots made by Momota, and orange indicates shots made by Li Chong Wei. The number inside the black square shows the initial launch angle of the shuttle. The dotted line tracks the distance the shuttle has traveled so far. In the example you're seeing, at the 3.6 second mark of the rally, the shuttle hit by Momoda Blue is traveling at an average speed of about 7 meter seconds with a launch angle of 25 degrees. By this moment, it has flown nearly 4 meters, and the full trajectory is expected to reach approximately 6.5 meters. Note that the shuttle speed shown here, as exported by our tool, is the average speed between two contact points, calculated simply as distance divided by time. This is different from the speeds you often see from high-end radar systems used in major tournaments, where shuttle speed is measured over a very short distance immediately after contact with the racket. That's it for today. We're currently developing dozens of other reports and we'll be sharing how to analyze the exported data step by step. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any upcoming updates. Thanks for watching and see you next time.